properly. And then B, I have history with 2K. So from 2K7 to 2K12, we did a lot of like the uh, signature moves for a lot of like the NBA All-Stars and stuff like that. So to come back here and be in collaboration is awesome. The game is actually really smooth. I like it. If they slowed it down a little bit, it's more realistic. Until I get in the park and I max out 99 overall, we're going to see what really happens. Corey, we're here at NBA 2K23 Summer League. How's your Summer League been so UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Well, it's almost time for action here at OKC. And as the Thunder arrived earlier, they appeared to be in no mood to show any mercy tonight. A colorful depiction of Sky Dance Bridge in the Big Friendly. We're here at OKC. Some big-time heroics have gotten both teams to this point. It's Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard CJ McCollum said, quote, A lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens, trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Alan. And so let's take a look at the starters for the Denver Nuggets. We've got Michael Porter. Nikola Jokic is out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Robinson in at the four. And for the Thunder, you look at Oklahoma City. It took a major effort for them to advance out of the conference semis. How much of an effect does that have on a team? Well, you want to conserve energy as much as possible in the early rounds. They really weren't able to do that. Here's where the home fans need to rise up and give their guys the jolt of adrenaline they need. So the Nuggets with the tip. And here's Murray. Pass to Porter. Outside Murray. Clock at six. Covered by Jokic. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Driving inside to the wing, right side. Here's Kitty. No good with the triple. Pass to Jokic. Down low. Here's Robinson. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine. The way that scoreboard's going to light up. And there's the foul. It's on Michael Porter. That's his first foul. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Oh, you love to see that kind of vision from Gobert. As much attention as he draws from the D, there's bound to be an open man, and he just got to find him. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Here's Porter. They kick it out to Murray. The layup off target. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. He's guarded by Porter. Can't get it to fall. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one. Missed it. And has no one to blame but himself. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. And that one's good. Gil just Alexander. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Jokic up top. Oh, and makes 
it with the kiss. Jokic has gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Robinson defending. Just five on the clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Second team foul. At the line for your thunder, number 34, taking two shots. Two shots, last on the first. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. The Nuggets have gone three of four to get things going. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Murray. Not a lot of room. The layup misses. Rebound by the Nuggets. Out to the wing. Gilchis Alexander with a rebound. Thunder with a lead. Inside. Robinson defending. Gilchis Alexander attacking. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Have to respect the tenacity. Gilgis Alexander isn't afraid of going straight at the defense on the drive. You look at Oklahoma City, they come into this series with their eyes set on reaching the NBA Finals. No doubt they're heavy favorites to win the conference title, but nothing is certain at this stage, even with home court advantage. Nothing short of their best basketball is going to do it. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Pass to Porter. Back to Murray. From the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. His first make in four shots. You hope it gets him rolling. Oklahoma City has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. He's guarded by Porter. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Up and in on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. Freezing. And another three for Denver. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Nikola Jokic. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. First free throw is good. Yeah. 
Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Robinson. Here's Murray. Another missed shot. He's one of five. Looking shaky out there. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after him. To the middle. Gilgis Alexander against Porter. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. At the line for your corner, Shane Gilgis Alexander taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Washington's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Thompson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. George comes in for Murray. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. Yeah, not only the trips to the line are a concern, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet and do so without fouling. Now a timeout called by Denver. And the loudest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. And the Nuggets making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. And here now a list of the players who have had the hottest hand in the playoffs. Fifth is Shea Gilgis Alexander. Perfect time to take it to another level offensively. He's really carried them at that end. Side. Four on the clock. Here's George. Thompson. And the tip in on the offensive boards. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And great instincts, too, guys. Anticipating where the miss was going. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy. For three. It's rebounded by George. For Denver, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Here's Korkma. Thompson outside. Pulls it in from the elbow. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Now one falls. He has six. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. To the paint. Here's Korkmaz. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You look at Oklahoma City. And after sweeping their last series, they're riding a nice wave of momentum into the conference finals. Yeah, they really are. Now, we'll see if that gap between series takes any of that momentum away. You'd like to get as much rest as possible in the postseason, but you also don't want to get rusty. And he drops the first. both from the line. The Thunder have gone four of eight and looking in control. Here's Pokusevsky. Pass to Simons. 
sinks that one from the post. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Denver has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Here's Stanley. To the middle. No good with a layup. The Thunder have gone five of nine from the floor. And there's the lob. Korkmaz pulls it in. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Pass to Washington. Shot from 12. Doesn't go for him. Now Denver takes it the other way. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Shamit. And it's all tied up. Andrew Such Shannon. an effective shooter. Oh, if you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. George against Williams. With the dribble. Oh, oh, throw oh, it down. down. Nice. Oh. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. Denver calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Pause on the way. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's Simons. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The shot's good. And how. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Pass to Sharon. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Williams. Pass to Pakusevsky. Washington up top. Shoots over Thompson. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Now here's Williams. hit that one. Nice D from Thompson. Denver has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. George outside. Here's the three. Hits the trifecta. Terrific placement on the bounce pass. Right where it needed to be. The Thunder have gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Pass to Pakusevsky. To the inside. And it's Washington missing. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Thunder with a lead. There's a minute 12 left now in the first quarter. Let's it fly. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Here's Korkmaz. Thompson in the post. 
Pass to Stanley. Williams against George. Shot clock at five. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Oklahoma City has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Pokazewski. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Simons. Launches it. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. And the Thunder lead by three. He's putting them to the test this quarter. Attacking every chance he gets. Pulls it. Buries the jump shot. Korkmaz has got six points. With one on the clock. He can't get that one to fall. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Thunder out in front. They lead by one. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And Nikola Jokic at times seems like an offense unto himself. But he credits his team. It's easy for me, actually. I mean, I have such a great teammate. I mean, it's easy, really easy for me to do whatever I do in the court. Grant, the pieces really do fit well around them. They really do, B.A. I mean, the Nuggets have shined when it comes to talent evaluation. As a star player, having those others to help you win is vital. Glad to have you with us as we return to the action here in the Western Conference Finals. And for the Thunder guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding the inside. They've got Rudy Gobert and Freddy Simons out there with Alexei Bukashevsky. And it's Washington in at power forward. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going in the second. Here's Simons following the score by Denver. And the basket is good. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the base. First personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for the Nuggets. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Out of bounds, the Oklahoma City's ball. Robinson, he's checked in for Stanley. Into the lineup for the Nuggets. to Simons he's guarded by Porter here's Simons shot clock at six offline with a baseline jumper it's Jokic high post Jokic is double inside Robinson the shot is good on the assist by Jokic yeah his court awareness and Feel. Jokic is incredible in those areas. I mean, he sees the floor extremely well for a big guy. Here's Simons. Rejected by Jokic. Denver has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Throws it up high. And then Porter with the dunk. Beautiful catch and flush right there by Porter Jr. Gliding into that alley-oop. Pass to Williams. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. The Nuggets have gone three of three to begin the second. Here's Murray. Takes it inside. And Gobert with a block. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. I mean, why do you think they call Gobert the stifle tower? Denver in the lead. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Murray against Gobert. Nails it from beyond the arc. Six points for him. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but thriving as a passer, too. Back to Simons. 
looking to end the run. That one, no good. Good D by Jokic. The Nuggets have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Poke loose. And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Here's Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Porter. To the wing on the left. Down to five on the shot clock. And they double up Jokic. And there's Porter on the assist by Jokic. Porter's got seven now in this quarter. How about that smooth shot from the arc for Porter? He's got such a confident timeout, timeout. release and deep range, too. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. A three from the inbound. The rebound by Murray. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks ball down and guys start playing three. hero ball. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Murray. The Thunder with another miss. Denver's gone 7 of 9 from three-point range so far. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And they get it back. The three. The Thunder with the rebound. Gets the three to fall. And it's now only a five-point Denver lead. That right there... That's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Murray passes to Porter. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Pass to Giddy. Denver grabs the miss. Porter's got four rebounds now. Here's Robinson. Basket counts. Robinson's got six. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. He'll just Alexander with the ball. Checked by Murray. That one goes. He's counted. This is a fellow who can fill it up. When Gilgis Alexander gets rolling, it throws the opponent's defensive plan into disarray. Now here's Robinson. He's got six. Back to Porter. He shoots it. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That'll be a second foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Timeout call for the Thunder. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Here's Giddy. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Gilgis Alexander finds Gobert. Alley-oop up top. Hammer it home. And maybe one of the best at the alley-oop. Gobert is great at reading the D and getting eye contact with the passer. And finish. Jokic passes to George. The shot off that time. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. George defending, and he drains it. A solid five for six now. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. 
Oklahoma City trailing. Gilgis Alexander up top. George defending. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take. Down low. Oh, George with a steal. Three on three. And Gobert with a block. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. <laughs> with incredible agility and reflexes, Gobert excels above the rim. It's stolen. Driving in. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Thunder. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And another area where they've been on point is defending the rim. A lot of blocks through the first two quarters. It's been neck and neck this entire first half. <laughs> yeah, eight lead changes so far. These clubs are looking evenly matched. Rebound by the Nuggets. They've led by as much as 10. From downtown, this fire's there. Four for six in the game now. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And Gobert with the stuff. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Washington's checked in for Oklahoma City. Williams comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. Here's Shamit. Pass to Korkmaz. From deep. Williams grabs the board. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. The three from Washington. Stanley with a rebound. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. Here's Korkmaz. He's guarded by Washington. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Thompson gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. Outside, Williams. Here's Giddy. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Yeah, that one's good. Just so successful Two. getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Thompson outside. Pass to George. Drives to the hoop. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. George has got four points this quarter. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Williams against George. Now here's Williams. Guarded closely. Oh, George with a steal. It's Shamit on the wing. Pass to Thompson. Back to Shamit. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Shamit's got five. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Williams passes to Gobert. Pass to Washington. Make that three of seven so far for him. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Denver has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. George outside. The Thunder with the rebound. Here's Giddy on the take. Oh, the teardrop falls in. And the Thunder lead by two.
they've really gotten away from the three-point shot as they've pulled out in front. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake, but they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. Furkan Korkmaz. It's a tie game in Oklahoma City. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Looking at the Thunder, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the pitch so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we're going to expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usually tonight. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. You know, Shea Gilgis-Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. On the court for Denver, we've got Jamal Murray. Michael Porter out there with Nikola Jokic. And it's Robinson in at the power forward position. Now here's Robinson. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Puts it up. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Oklahoma City trailing. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now here's Murray. Going inside. Count that bucket. Jamal Murray. Murray's got eight. He's super hard to guard is Jamal Murray because he's got all the shots including recognizing when to use the float. Jokic against Gobert. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Gilchrist Alexander. That shot, no good. Denver has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And then Porter with the dunk. Boy, the size, the vertical, the explosiveness. Porter Jr. has all the tools to throw it down. Here's Gilchrist Alexander. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Robinson can't hit. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 17. He's got it. Six of ten now. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happened this often, that's not a pattern. That's a characteristic. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Six to shoot. And 
and score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Outside Porter. Jokic up top. Gets himself open and drills it. Jokic has got eight points. Number three. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. You could really see a squad with losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Simons. And there's the drive. It's Pokashevsky on the wing. The Thunder with another miss. For Denver, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Back to Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. And now a four-point Denver lead. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Now here's Gobert. He has seven. Simons. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got rebound number five here tonight. Left side, Murray. And they double up Jokic. The three is up. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Washington's checked in for Oklahoma City. And for Oklahoma City, they're shooting a solid 47%. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Pakusevsky. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Okashevsky's got his first bucket in this one. Assertive move. You can tell the game's speeding up a bit. Murray passes to Jokic. Now here's Murray. He's got 10. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got eight points here in the quarter. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. And so here is Denver following the bucket by the Thunder. Porter in the post. And count it. Now five for seven. That's Porter Jr. Shows nice follow-through on his shot, even through the contact. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Banked it in off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 29. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but you know he can't do it by himself. Now a timeout called by Denver. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Denver in the lead. Now Murray. He's got 10. 
Pass to Shaman. Five on the clock. Drops in the layup for two. Shamit's got his third basket on the night right there. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. Right side, Williams. Denver foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Take a break. Take I'll a break. tell you something else. Who's the up? points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. First free throw is good. And Williams drops them both. Denver has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Here's Murray. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Murray's got 12 points. He's got a well rounded game. Murray can score from just about anywhere. And the more points he gets inside, the more space he gets outside. Here's Pokashevsky. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second team. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that one. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Shevsky taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Korkmaz has checked in for the Nuggets. So he gets them both. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's Murray. 12 points for him. Pass to Shaman. Wide open look. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got eight assists in the game. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Here's Simons. Back to Williams. Here's Pokazewski. Shot clock at six. That three's off the mark. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. There's the drive, and the shot goes. Okashevsky's got six points in the quarter. And here's Murray. To the inside. And they're going to count that bucket. They'll send That's him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. The Thunder making a switch here. That free throw is good from Thompson. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Giddy. It's rebounded by George. Denver has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. And he's going for the lob! He's in the alley -oop pass. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. 
And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Count it. He's got 16. <laughs> this guy has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here. And, boy, I really admire his energy. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Williams against Murray. And stolen by Murray. Pass to Court Love. Kicks it to George. He's off on the layup. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Williams. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. At the line for your Oklahoma City. At the line for two. And he makes a first, and the Nuggets making a change here. Robinson's checked in. And Williams drops them both. Denver in the lead. George outside. Pass to Cork Moss. Back to George. There's the three. That doesn't go either for George. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Denver's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. One eleven left in the third. There's no debate there. He's got him. Late contact. Straightforward call. Simple. At the line for the Nuggets. Taking two shots. First one falls. Gobert's checked in for Washington. George hits them both. Williams with it. Six points for him. Here's Giddy, and he drives in. Korkmaz pulls it in. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Pass to Robinson. Over to the left wing. And he's going for the oop here! Now, here's Williams. Inside. Here's Giddy. And it's Denver with a rebound. Thompson's got seven rebounds in the game. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Furkan Korkmaz. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. 
There's 25 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. There's 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Five to shoot. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. The third quarter comes to a close. The Nuggets on top, leading by nine. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Denver has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. George outside. Pass to Thompson. It's Robinson, high post. Driving to the basket. Six on the shot clock. George for three. He's off on that one. And Oklahoma City will go the other way with it. And for the Nuggets, we've got Michael Porter. And it's Thompson in at the center position, locking down the middle. Excellent use of his physical gifts. Goes up strong and captures the board. And for Oklahoma City, Porter. And he makes it. Michael Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Williams. And he lobs it up top. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Yeah, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing. They're able to pull off plays like that. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Robinson defending. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First two foul. At the line for your defender, number 34. Two shots. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And a switch here also for Denver. Jokic is checked in for Thompson. It's both from the strike. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. Soft touch on full display. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Nice catch and finish on the lob. All Jokic needs is just a little bit of room, and he's good to shoot it. You gotta respect the scoring ability he has. Pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander against George. And it's in there. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points here in the second half. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. And they double up Jokic. Outside quarter. Fires the three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gilgis Alexander attacking. Denver grabs the miss. And they just continue to dominate the board. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist.
again, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Now here's Gobert. Robinson defending. Pass to Giddy. George against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, Jokic with the block. You know, this is what we've seen Jokic do every night. I mean, he puts himself in position to make an impact on the game. George for three. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Not himself from range right now. But the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Gilgis Alexander attacking. And, yep, it's good. Gilgis Alexander's gotten four this quarter. They've struggled. But, hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. Jokic, no good. The Thunder have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Giddy. Count that one. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Order in the post. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. Hey, you got to get used to nights like this from Porter Jr. Now, this guy's got a lot in his package offensively. He's supremely gifted scorer. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, right up, yeah. yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, there was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. Murray's checked in for George. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. He loves their effort tonight. He said, quote, this is how we wanted to come into this, looking to push the action, dictating the tempo. We are where we need to be to even things up. Of course, he's talking about the season series. Guys, back to you. And Allie, thanks. Murray, from down in the low post, it goes. And the Nuggets lead by 10. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Gobert finds Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. And he lobs it up. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. The Thunder have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Giddy. Fires the three. And the three-pointer goes. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Outside Murray. And here's Robinson. Off target at the rim. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Yeah, this period, they're letting them go to work, and it's paying off. to Porter. Now Robinson. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Here's Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Into the lane. And the lamp is good off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 37. He's been so effective down the stretch, capitalizing on all his opportunities. Jokic breaking down defenses and coined the work, getting busy. This guy is such a talented offensive player and a joy to watch. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Kiltis Alexander taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
he makes the first. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. The Nuggets have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Pass to Porter. Back to Murray. Now here's Robinson. There's five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get one up. Murray for three. The rebound goes to the Thunder. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure-handed lay in there, but for me, I don't mind a little extra. The quarter shot is off. Oklahoma City trailing. but a miss. Pass to Murray. Back to Robinson. And here's Murray, defended by Gobert. Murray passes to Porter. Shoots. Off the left rim and out. Oklahoma City shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Gilgis Alexander attacking. And that one drops for him. Gilgis Alexander's got 41. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Outside Murray. Jokic passes to Murray. Over Gilgis Alexander. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Thunder with a lead. To the middle. Pass to Giddy. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Robinson's got rebound number eight now. Outside Murray. Porter with it. Launches a three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. Here he goes. That's bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Now a timeout called by Denver. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. Now here's Murray over Gobert. It's blocked by Gobert. He takes it in. It's good. Now it's a five-point Oklahoma City lead. I think I've lost track of how many of their possessions have ended exactly like that. Yeah, that's not a bad way to end the possession, though. I mean, it's the reason this game is coming down to the wire. I mean, it's cut from outside and from the field in general. Here's Murray. Following the bucket by the Thunder. It's blocked by Gobert. Here's Kenny. And there's another one for the Thunder. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. That one drops for him. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. The three. Denver grabs the miss. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. 
And they double up Jokic. Outside Porter. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Gobert against Jokic. He's guarded by Porter. Here's Gobert. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And here's Denver. It's a five-point game outside Murray. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Over Gilchis Alexander with the second effort. It falls! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the fight. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And an intentional foul right there. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home city. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. He snuffs out any comeback hopes with an impressive performance at the line. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're trailing by five. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Murray. No good on the quick three. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Number three. That's his second personal foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for your Shirt two. Two shots. He drops the first one. And that increases the lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Quarter the pass to Murray. The Nuggets with another miss. And so the Thunder take the win. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA. Brought to you by 2K Sports. So long, everybody.